Good morning, class. As part of the 300 hours of community service I'm now being made to do, even though I was legitimately just there for a massage, I'm required to produce a video for you with an educational slant. You see, there has been a near infinite amount of brilliant, wonderful and crazy things that have happened on this daft old rock and we've been very fortunate to capture some of them with a camera. I'm What Culture's Adam Cleary and these are 15 awesome historical photographs and the stories behind them. Number 15. Bulletproof Vest Training <laughs> Lol, here's a job that's somehow worse than yours. In 1923, the Protective Garment Corporation of New York manufactured a lightweight vest for police use. Now, at the time, such technology was unheard of, so they promised a live demonstration in Washington, D.C. How do you demonstrate that a bulletproof vest works? By sticking it on some idiot and shooting him point blank. He lived, somehow, and now they're pretty much standard issue. Number 14. Albert Einstein and Dave Rothman not merely content with being a massive nerd, Albert Einstein was also something of a hipster. I mean, if those breezy short shorts are anything to go by. He's pictured here in 1939 with store owner Dave Rothman after a humorous moment where the great physicist had entered his store and asked, in his comically thick German accent, to buy sundials. After offering him a clock instead, Einstein laughed, pointed at his feet, and Rothman's realized he meant sandals. <laughs> oh, what fun. Number 13, the first photograph of Machu Picchu. For all we millennials get slated for constantly stopping to take photos of things, the great American historian Hiram Bingham did exactly the same over 100 years ago. Stumbling across the ruins of the 15th century Incan temple, he whipped out his camera, actually I'm saying he whipped it out, presumably it was f***ing massive, and took what was the first ever photograph of the site in 1911. Number 12, the German soldier and Russian mother. See, now this one's nice, sort of. In 1941, and obviously as part of the Second World War, Germany unleashed Operation Barbosa on the Soviets. Now, I'll spare you the history lesson, but this was a plan to simply starve them into submission. However, in the horror of war, there are occasionally moments of humanity, as we see here with the soldier of the 291st Division of the Wehrmacht sharing his own rations with a starving mother and her child. Number 11, the camps outside Mecca. Here in England, Mecca is the name of a really popular chain of huge bingo halls, but if you're a practicing member of the Muslim faith, it's a much, much bigger deal. Located in Saudi Arabia, millions still make a pilgrimage to it every year, and this photo from 1889 is one of the first such recorded examples. This camp, just outside Mecca itself, shows the sheer scale of the pilgrimages, and as you can see, it has tents, camels, and all the greatest hits. Number 10. Tankman 2.0 Now, everyone's seen the Tankman photo from Tiananmen Square in 1989, right? Of course you have, but this one, taken from further away and lower down, helps add a little bit of context. From here, you can see other people running away from the tanks, and absolutely fair enough, lads, as well as the sheer enormity of the vehicle rolling down the road. Number 9. The Statue of Liberty Construction Great photo of this, taken in 1884, of just what a catastrophic chew-on it must have been to build the Statue of Liberty. Built as a gift from the French to America, the photo was taken in a Parisian workshop to show the progress of the construction. The whole statue was later shipped into New York, where it stands, looking dead lovely to this day. Number 8. The Russian Spy well, bloody hell, I suppose if you were a Russian spy and you were found out by the Finnish and then taken into a quiet forest to be executed, there's not really much else you can do but smile at the man with the gun. Taken in 1942, in this place that's now appearing on screen that I'm not even going to try and pronounce, the image has become one of the defining photographs of war. Number 7. The Brandenburg Gate Lit Up Now, say what you want about the Nazis, but they knew how to throw a f***ing party. No, slightly insensitive, that one? Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Here we see the Brandenburg Gate illuminated in all its glory to celebrate Hitler's birthday in 1939. The photographer was a member of the Nazi party himself and the image was used to demonstrate Germany's splendor and affluence to the world. Now, I don't know about you, but this all looks incredibly Raiders of the Lost Ark to me. Number 6. Women boxing on a rooftop Quick fact for you, women are absolutely brilliant. I mean, just look, look at them, just absolutely smashing it. Taken on top of the ball building in Paramount Lot Hollywood in 1938, which is where they made King Kong and Citizen Kane. 
Now, not a whole lot is known about the women in the picture or even who took it, but they're all wearing dancing shoes. So it's a fairly safe assumption that they're part of a variety show of subdescription and are either A, rehearsing something outside, or B, just fancy battering each other for a change of pace. Both are fine. Number 5. Testing the American Football Helmet Hi, I'm Jordy Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass in 1912. Number 4. The First Atomic Bomb On July 16, 1945, at exactly 5.29am, the world entered the unprecedented atomic age with the first successful testing of this bad lad. Named Gadget, it was the world's first atomic bomb, and this photograph was taken about a day beforehand by one of Robert Oppenheimer's team. Now, if this scenery looks decidedly unscientific to you, that's because it's actually the inside of a 100-foot steel tower, where it was promptly detonated. The tower did not survive. Number 3. Jesse Owens wins gold in Nazi Germany In 1936, Nazi-governed Berlin held the Olympic Games as an opportunity to showcase the physical dominance of the Aryan race. Now, they did quite well, all things considered, but Jesse Owens, very much the opposite of the blonde-haired, blue-eyed master race, dominated his events, winning four gold medals. He then, quite bravely, took a stand on the podium for the entire world to see. Number 2. Hitler observes the heavy Gustav Right, now, I know it's not cool to glorify war, but, like, just, just look at this! This is the Heavy Gustav, the biggest calibre weapon ever used in combat, and in this photo, dated 1941, Hitler is definitely just looking at it thinking, Shit, that is one Heavy Gustav. It fired rounds that were about 12 foot long, and once destroyed a bunker that was 30 metres underground with one shot. How the hell did they lose that war? Again, not to big up Adolf here, but the composition of this photograph is... Frankly, exquisite. Number 1. A World War Submarine Washes Ashore So, in the First World War, U-boats were kind of a big deal. So, when one washed ashore in Hastings one morning, there was, obviously, quite the fuss. It's a U-118, to be precise, and had sunk two Allied ships on its one and only patrol before her captain surrendered it to the French in 1919. During the subsequent attempts to transfer her back to France, though, she slipped her toe and washed up in Blighty where this photo was taken. Oh, lads, what are you like? So, that was our list. Every day's a school day. Isn't it just in our case the school is absolutely mental? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, tell you what, tweet me with which photo I subtly slipped myself and Jules into and win an exciting prize. Until next time, I've been What Culture's Adam Cleary. And I'll see you soon. Well done, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Now, I'm not just here to increase our market share with women aged 18 to 35, but to tell you to watch one of these other videos we've made that are probably quite good. So, go on. Off you. That one or that one. They're both. Cool. There, there you go.